Greetings, Internet Drinking Buddies. My name is Link, the show's name is Tobin and Chuggin, and on this episode, I'll be imbibing Vanatal. Welcome back to the tub, everybody. Now, with this episode, I'm going to be starting uh, another new kind of series, if you will, called Alcohols My Friends Have Brought Me From Foreign Places That Look Fun To Drink But Aren't Very Easy To Find Here. It's quite catchy, I know. Still waiting on that trademark. These will be different from the standard Tubbin' and Chuggin' episodes in that I'm not going to be really giving any detailed price information, just because a lot of these are very impractical, if not impossible, to find or to get here in the States, but they're really more just to kind of look at these kind of fun, interesting, unique alcohols from around the world and see what I think about them. So let's take a closer look now at Vana Tallinn. Vana Tallinn comes from Tallinn, Estonia, and has been bottled since at least 1898, as it says on the bottle. Now, translated from Estonian, it means Old Tallinn. You can think of like a Jack Daniels old number seven, that kind of just naming scheme for the alcohol, the cultural touchstone for the people of Tallinn. Right on the bottle it says Vana Tallinn is a, a Jamaican rum that blends elements of vanilla and cinnamon. Given its mixed rum nature, you might expect it to come in at 35% APV like a Captain Morgan, but this one comes in at 40. We also have varieties at 45 and 50, but we've got the 40 here today. There is an importer to the States, at least in the DC area, uh, so you might be able to get your hand on it here. It's like around $25 a fifth is what you'd have to pay for it uh, if you happen to find it, but if you are in Estonia, it's, uh, my sources tell me it's a lot closer to $8 per half liter there. Now I was gifted this cute little half liter bottle that we have here by a friend who brought it back for me. And made a pretty decent dent in it over the months, but that's that's the extent of my history with this guy. Now this is a Jamaican rum, but I cannot pass out the opportunity to show off some of my Estonian skills. Terry six. never actually been to Estonia, as I mentioned. I don't speak any Estonian, other than the, the cheers I was just taught. The alcohol, on the other hand, I am a little bit familiar with. Had it a while, it's been a little bit, but it comes back to you. So when you think rum, off the, off the, you know, the first things you think of when you think of rum, like a dark spiced rum, you might be thinking Captain Morgan, you might be thinking like uh, something of that nature, but this one, hammers home the vanilla flavoring a lot more than the cinnamon. I really don't get as much of the cinnamon as they kind of describe on the bottle. It definitely is a, a dark rum with the vanilla. And honestly, it feels a lot like a, like a digestive, like one of those Jaegers that we talked about before, where it stays in your throat a lot more than it stays on your tongue. Like it's gone from your tongue immediately, and it kind of inches your way down your throat in this like kind of warming sensation. It feels very nice, very, very pleasant just to have kind of continue on as like a, a shock experience overall. This is fairly premium feeling, I'm not gonna lie, in the sense that if you compare this to something like a, you know, just a normal, like a normal rum thing, I, I'm a lot more cringy when I'm, when I'm tasting it because, you know, it has it's a higher batch, it's a lower batch, whatever the case may be. This is nice. It's smooth in the sense that it, it doesn't overpower you on your tongue initially, but it just kind of melts down your throat in a nice way that, you know, I can imagine being in a, a cold Estonian winter and, and having this warm me up in a nice way. And I think that might be where they were going uh, when they developed a, a rum as kind of the, the pride of Tallinn, as they say on this. But overall, very solid product. Again, not likely gonna run across it uh, on your day-to-day -day shopping experience, but if you do happen to see it, and you like that kind of digestive feeling drink of warming your throat, and you like rum, I do recommend this, guys. It's a very, very fun product if you can find it. Uh, if you have an alcohol uh, from a foreign country that you would like to see me review, go ahead and send that to me. I'll drink it for you, no problem. I'll even review it on here. Uh, but as always, please drink responsibly.